Okay. Welcome back to The Crucible by Arthur Miller. Um, this is, what you're about to see is scene one of Act Two. And if you watched the other two videos, uh, you'll understand that not everything you need to know is going to be in these videos. So once again, I apologize, but you're going to have to read the play, okay? Uh, and once again, I understand that uh, that it can be difficult because of the, uh, the language that Miller uses uh, and the fact that you're reading something that was meant to be seen and not read. So hopefully these, uh, these videos are helping you out. If you're still not understanding everything um, after you've read it and watched the videos, come see me. You can come see me anytime for clarification. But once you get through with the reading and, and you watch the videos, if you're still having trouble, come see me. We'll figure it out. Okay? Now at the end of Act 2, in Apex, you're going to have to write an essay. Uh, I'm not going to tell you what it's about, but you're going to have to write an essay. So you need to understand that not everything you, you, you're going to need to write that essay is on these videos either. Okay? Read it. Watch the videos. Come see me. Okay? Without any further ado, I hope you enjoy it. The Crucible, Act 2, Scene 1. What keeps you so late, John? It's almost dark. I were planting out on the forest edge. Oh, then you're done then. Aye. The farm is seeded. The boys asleep? Well, they will be soon. Uh, pray now for a fair summer. Aye. Are you well today? I am. Hmm. If the crop is good, I'll buy George Jacob's heifer. How would that please you? I, it would. I mean to please you, Elizabeth. I know it, John. Hmm. Cider? This farm is a continent when you go foot by foot dropping seeds in it. It must be. I think you're sad again. Are you? You've come so late. I thought you'd gone to Salem this afternoon. Why, well, I, I have no business in Salem. You did speak of going earlier this week. Yes, I thought better of it since. Mary Warren's there today. Why did you let her go? You heard me forbid her to go to Salem anymore. I couldn't stop her. Elizabeth, you're the mistress here, not Mary Warren. I forbid her go, and she raises up her chin like the daughter of a prince and says to me, I must go to Salem, Goody Proctor. I'm an official of the court. Court? What court? Aye. It's a proper court they have now. They've sent four judges out of Boston. Weighty magistrates of the general court, she says, and at the head sits the deputy governor of the province. There be 14 people in jail now, she says. And they'll be tried, and the court have the power to hang them, she says. Ah, uh, they'd never hang. The deputy governor promises hanging if they'll not confess, John. The town's gone wild, I think. She speak of Abigail, and I, I thought she were a saint to hear her. Abigail brings the other girls into court, and where she walks, the crowd will part like the Red Sea of Israelites. And folks are brought before them, and if they scream and howl and fall to the floor, the person's clapped in jail for bewitching them. Oh, this is a black mischief. I think, I think you must go to Salem, John. I think so. You must tell them it's a fraud. Aye, it is, surely. She said it had nothing to do with witchcraft, didn't she? Aye, aye, she did. 
God forbid you keep that from court, John. I think they must be told. Aye, they must be. It's a wonder that they do believe her. I would go to Salem now, John. Let you go tonight. Yes, um, I'll think of it. You cannot keep it, John. I know I can't keep it. I say I will think on it. Good. Then let you just think on it. I'm only wondering. Wondering how I may prove what she told me, Elizabeth. If the girl's a saint now, I think it not easy to prove she's fraud. And the town gone so silly. She told it to me in a room alone. I have no proof of it. You were alone with her? Uh, for a moment, I... Why, then it is not as you told me. For a moment, I say. The others came in soon. Do as you wish, then. Woman, I'll not have your suspicion any more. I have no... I'll not have it. Then let you not earn it. You doubt me yet. John, if it were not Abigail that you must go to her, would you falter now? I think not. Now look you, I see what I see, John. You saw her with a crowd, you said. But now you, I'll plead my honesty no more, Elizabeth. John, I am only no more. Like a Christian, I confess. I confessed. Some dream I must have had to mistake you for God that day. But you're not. You're not God, and let you remember it. Let you look sometimes for the goodness in me, and judge me not. I do not judge you. I never thought you but a good man, though somewhat bewildered. Oh, Elizabeth, your justice could freeze beer. How do you go to Salem when I forbid it? Do you mock me? I'll whip you if you dare leave this house again. No, oh, I'm sick. I'm sick, Mr. Proctor. Pray, pray, hurt me not. My insides are all shuddery. I'm in proceedings all day, sir. And what of these proceedings here? When will you proceed to keep this house as you're paid nine pounds a year to do? and my wife not wholly well. I made a gift for you today. Goody Proctor, I had to sit long hours in a chair and pass the time with sewing. Hmm, why, thank you. It's a fair puppet. I, indeed, it is a fair puppet. We must all love each other now, Goody Proctor. Aye. Indeed we must. Is it true there be fourteen women arrested? No, sir. There be thirty-nine now. Why, she's weeping. What ails you, child? Goody Osborne will hang. Hang? Hang, you say? The deputy governor will permit it? He sentenced her, he must, but not Sarah Good. For Sarah Good confessed, you see. Confessed to what? She sometimes made a compact with Lucifer and wrote her name in his black book with her blood and bound herself to torment Christians till God's thrown down and we all must worship hell forever. But. Surely you know what a jabberer she is. Did you tell them that? Mr. Proctor, in open court, she near to choke us all to death. How? Choke you how? Why, well, she sent her spirit out. Oh, Mary. Mary, surely you... She tried to kill me many times, Goody Proctor. Why, well, I never heard you mention that before. I never knew it before. I never knew anything before. 
When she came into court, I say to myself, I must not accuse this woman, for she sleep in ditches and so very old and poor. But then, then she sit there denying and denying, and I feel a misty coldness climbing up my back, and the skin on my skull begin to creep, and I feel a clamp around my neck, and I cannot breathe. And then I hear a voice, a screaming voice, and it were my voice, and all at once I remembered everything she'd done to me. Why? What'd she do to you? So many times, Mr. Proctor, she came to this very door, begging bread and a cup of cider. And mark this, whenever I turned her away empty, she mumbled. Well, mumbled? She may mumble if she's hungry. You must remember, Goody Proctor, last month, a Monday, I think, she walked away and I thought my guts would burst for two days after. Do you remember it? Why, I do, I, I think, but... And as I told that to Judge Hawthorne, and he asked her, Sarah Good, he said, what curse do you mumble that this girl must fall sick after turning you away? And then she replied, why, your excellence, no curse at all. I only say my commandments. I hope I may say my commandments, she said. This is an upright answer. Aye, but then Judge Hawthorne say, recite us your commandments. And of all ten, she could not say a single one. She never knew no commandments, and they had her a flat lie, and so condemned her? But the proof, the proof, I told you the proof. It's hard proof, hard as a rock, the judges say. You will not go to court again, Mary Warren. I will be gone every day now. I am amazed you do not see the weighty work we do. What work? Strange work for a Christian girl to hang old women. But Mr. Proctor, they will not hang if only they confess. Sarah Good will only sit in jail some time. So I'll be gone every day for some time. I'm, I'm an official of the court, they say, and I, oh, I'll official you. I'll not stand any more whipping, none. Mary, promise you'll stay at home. The devil's noose in Salem. Mr. Proctor, we must discover where he's hiding. I will whip the devil out of you. I saved her life today. I? I am accused? Somewhat mentioned. But I say I never see no sign you ever sent your spirit out to hurt no one. And seeing I do live so closely with you, they dismissed it. Who, who accused me? I'm bound by law. I cannot tell it. I only hope you'll not be so sarcastical no more. Four judges and the king's deputy sat to dinner with us but an hour ago. I, I would have you speak civil to me from this day out. Go to bed. I'll not be ordered to bed no more, Mr. Proctor. I am 18 and a woman, however single. Do you want to sit up? Then sit up. I, I wish you go to bed. Good night, then. I, good night. Oh, the noose, the noose is up. Elizabeth, there'll be no noose. She wants me dead. I knew all week it would come to this. They dismissed it. You heard her say, and what of tomorrow? She will cry me out until they take me. She wants me dead, John. Abigail wants me dead.